Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lana, I'm a 14 year old that resells on the platforms Poshmark and Macari. I'll leave those linked down below along with my Instagram if you want to follow along more on my reselling journey. If you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the little notification bell, like the bell by it, to be notified of when I upload new YouTube videos. So, today I'll be showing you my big haul of what I got when I went thrifting in Raleigh, North Carolina. I went there a few days ago just to take a trip there and I ended up finding a lot of things. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, five full big bags of clothing that I need to get listed so it can sell. Um, I'm very happy with all the stuff I got. I found a lot of brands that I haven't found before or brands that I like to sell. Um, so yeah, let's just get into this video. It's probably going to be a little bit long today. And you might see that I'm wearing the same clothes that I wore in my wet sole video because I'm filming this on the same day. Um, I'm going to try and get this video done fast just because I need to do some other things. So I'm just gonna go through it. Starting off with this, I think we went to around three thrift stores. Um, and I found a good amount of stuff at each thrift store and I'm very happy with it. So, oh, and I have like two things that aren't in this haul because I already listed them. They're sitting over there. One thing was a Torrid shirt. It has like campers on it. I like the camp Torrid a lot, as you might be able to tell from my videos. This is just a Lily Pulitzer piece. It's a tank top. It's a size zero. Um, Lily Pulitzer, this is like their basic pattern. It's a preppy brand here in like North Carolina, South Carolina. Um, I've never sold it before. I actually have a dress over there. But actually, I have sold it before. It was a pair of white jeans that was like very basic. It was just a plain pair of white jeans. The next thing are these Seven for All Mankind. I don't even know how to say that. Um, jeans. I know their dojos do best. And people only like to pick up their dojos. But I actually sold a pair of Seven for All Mankind. I don't know what style. But it sold for $38 in like a week. So. I'm not going to go with how all the other resellers say. And only pick up dojos. I'm just going to do what I want. The price is at... The thrift stores were actually lower than the or thrift stores around me. I think for the shirts it was like $378, $350. And some of this was discounted too because it was on like a special day. And then at like the other thrift stores, the dresses were like $450 or something like that. This is just We The Free by Free People. This thermal with the, the dish. Oh no. I found holes on it. Well, it's like kind of on the... It's kind of on the... Hem. So, like, it isn't really visible that well. But there's still holes on it. It's a size extra small. And I saw this, like, meme. That free people runs really oversized. That could probably feel like a medium, maybe a large. It's not uh, extra small. Next thing is this We The Free by Free People. Pretty sure this is like inside out or something. Mm, where's the tag at? Somewhere. We The Free. Well, if <laughs> I can't find the tag. Oh, there it is. We The Free by Free People. Pretty sure that's the newer We The Free tag. It's just this um, oversized sweater size small definitely could fit like an extra large it's i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be really baggy um next thing is this torrid i really like picking up torrid it only sells pretty fast for me it's just this sheer lace blouse it's a size 4x 4x um yeah the next thing 
I saw this right when I walked into the thrift store. It's Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters. It's this like palm leaf tropical print. It kind of has like a flare like. I really like these. They're size large. They're really cute. Probably only spent like $250. The next thing are these exclusively Misook pants. I've never found this brand before, but my mom has. Um, but I've heard it can do well. It's just like these basic pants, size small. I mean, it's not my favorite. I just picked it up because I've heard the brand can do well. The next thing is this new attack Lulu's top kind of has this mm, it's kind of cold shoulder i probably wouldn't have picked this up if it wasn't new with tags it's a size extra small um but it was like three dollars so i can probably get around 20 for this yeah the tags just like going over the next thing are these nike tempo shorts tempo running shorts I actually have a pair of these that I already own. These are a size extra large. I'll probably only get like 18 for these, but they're a good bundle piece. And I feel like they'll probably sell on Macari faster than they will sell on Poshmark for me. Okay. I'm going to have a lot of plastic bags. The next thing, I saw these right next to the other pair of Sam for All Mankind. They're the same style, I think. I might send these into Thud Up. I'm not sure. Oh, and I also have another pair over there. I've like listed some of this. It's Seven Fall Mankind. Uh, it's probably the same size. Size 26, just another pair of Seven Fall Mankind jeans. Yeah. I've only picked that brand up once before, other than this time. This is a Dion, Diane Vaughn. First in turf, if you watch, um, what is it? Jack and Ryan, Diane Vaughn, First in Berg. Just this blue tank top. There's actually another Diane Vaughn, First in Berg tank top, the same exact style, right next to it, but it had some like water stains or something on it. I've never picked up that one before. I think the dresses probably do better, and the dresses normally do have higher resale value, um, but yeah. This, I don't know if I should have picked this up, but it'll probably be a good bundle piece. It's just the silence and noise. I think this brand is sold at Urban Outfitters. I don't know. I don't know if you can tell. Okay. I picked, oh, this is all the stuff from Salvation Army now. I paid 99 cents for this, so, I mean, it's a dollar. But it's just this tank top, really lightweight, like, probably like an ounce. This next thing is just a basic made wall tank or a T. It's a size extra extra small. This is not an extra extra small. This is maybe like a small. Um, but I paid $2 for this. Probably won't get that much for it. But all this is like good brands. So I'm hoping that it will be good. Um, the next thing I paid $3 for is the gold label Victoria's Secret. I've never found gold label Victoria's Secret before. It's just like this slip. It does have a stain on the front, and I think I can get this out. It feels like silk, but I don't know if it is silk. And I'm not gonna look for it, because it's gonna take too long. Yeah. I also found a lot of Athleta, and I like selling Athleta, so I was happy about that. It's Athleta, if we'll focus. I don't think we'll focus. I paid 99 cents for this. I'm very happy with this. Um, it has like this cinched tie at the side. The size extra extra small. The next thing I paid 99 cents for also it's an athletic tank. The prices at this thrift or these thrift stores were really good. Is this athletic? Somewhere. I know it's athletic so I remember. Yeah, Athleta, size extra small. I feel like this is probably an older style, but I like picking up Athleta anyway. 
it's all twisted up. But it's just a purple tank top. Very basic, but I'll probably get around $20 for it. The next thing is a Kimmy and Kin by Anthropology. I pr I'm pretty sure I picked up the same like style top at my local thrift store. It's like an hour away from here. Um, just like a different print. I'm not sure if this has stains, but like it's yellowed all over the, like the cloth. So I don't think it stains. Oh, and it's a size extra large. So yeah. This next thing is I paid 99 cents for. I paid a lot less than I thought I did. Um, it's Mave by Anthropology. This is the new label because it says by Anthropology on it. Just this green tank top. Oh, and it's a size small. I don't normally find a lot of anthropology near me, so I'm happy with this. Um, I think I might keep this for myself, just because I don't think it's going to do that well. Just because it's a basic tee, but it's Everlane, size medium. I thought it would look cute if, I don't know if it's too short to tie, but like just to tie in the front. Just a basic top, even though I already have a basic black top. I paid 99 cents for this. Um, maybe it'll sell for like 18. I checked comps. They're like 20, so I don't know if I should keep it or sell it. I checked the new racks right as I was about right as I was about to head out, and I found a few pieces. The price is really good. It's Torrid, size 2X. Um, the elastic is like kind of shedding. I don't know. I don't know if I should have picked this up, but it was four dollars. Was this $4? Or was it 99 cents? I think it was $4. Cause look. I, th I think we just put 99 cents behind everything. Um, but yeah. Just like this lace maxi dress. Thought someone would want it. Probably need to cut off the elastic because it's like loose. And I don't know if that's a good thing. Probably not. Um, the next thing is kind of pilled, so I don't know if I'll be able to fix this. I paid 99 cents for it. I'm pretty sure all the tanks were like 99 cents. But it's aloe yoga. I've never found this brand before. Probably get like 25 for it. The only problem is, is I couldn't find the size tag. So I'll either, either have to measure it or try and find the size tag again. Wait, does it have a size tag? No. Okay. So maybe I'll discover the size tag when I go to list it, but I would say it's probably like a small, maybe a medium, but I think it's a small. The next thing are these flax pants. I've heard of people picking up flax before. I'm pretty sure they're just like a linen pant. I paid 99 cents for these, so I really couldn't say no. Um, they're just these pants, not my style. They're size small. Uh, but they would probably do better on eBay, but I don't want to sell on eBay, and it just, eBay doesn't sound interesting to me at all. Um, the next thing I paid $3 for, I think I'll probably throw it in the wash though, it's an another Athleta dress. I found this on the new rack, it has like a hood, it's just this dress, it has some stains that I think will probably come out in the wash. But it was three dollars. I don't know what their store charges three dollars for a dress, but it was this the store, and I'm very happy with the prices. And I want to go back because I found a lot of stuff. The next thing, uh, this is my first time finding this brand. It's Astra the label, A S T R. I paid five dollars for this dress. I'll probably get around thirty five for it. I think it's this long black lace maxi dress with like the lace at the bottom I don't know the size oh it's a size medium it has this zip back I really liked it I thought it was a cute style and I've heard of people picking up that brand before the next thing is this Madewell tank it's a size small I don't know if I should have picked this up because it's just like a black basic tank but it's 99 cents so Basically nothing. 
the no, not the last thing. This is just a bralette. I probably paid too much for this. It was I paid three dollars, I think. Yeah. It's Pins and Needles by Anthropology. I actually hadn't heard of this brand before. And then I looked up like the brands and it was Anthropology or not Anthropology, Urban Outfitters. Um it's just this lace bralette. I thought it was cute. Size, what size? Size medium. Does it have stains on it? No, it's just indents from being in the pile of clothes and stuff. Their prices were really good at the thrift store. Um, I found these Jack Rogers. They're a little beat up, but for two dollars, I couldn't say no. So, they're just a black, or not black, blue Jack Roger flip flops. Um, they do have some like gooey, yucky stuff here on the sole, but, and some like cracking on the part right here, but they'll probably sell for like 20, 25. Oh, and they do have some more to test, but yeah. Okay, I have another big bag and a small bag, so I'm just gonna go with the small bag. The next thing is this halogen. Collagen is sold at Nordstrom. Probably wouldn't have picked this up if it wasn't new with tags, but it is new with tags. It's the ivory black stripe top in size medium, petite. Hopefully it isn't petite. It has like this ruffle sleeve, brand new with tags, so I said yes. I think I paid like $3.00. A shirt or something like that. The next thing is 41 Hawthorne. I've heard of people picking up this brand before. I think it's a Stitch Fix brand, but I thought this was a cute style and it's up. Size medium. Okay, I got cut off. But the next thing is a Silence and Noise top. It's like a metallic color. Thought it was fun. The window's rattling. And the next thing, it's kind of risky because it's white but it's another 41 hawthorne top in a size medium i checked this for stains didn't find any so i'm gonna hope i don't find any more underneath these lights hopefully not fingers crossed the pile is getting huge over there and we're not gonna talk about it then this next thing is lululemon i think this is an older style but I wasn't going to say no to the lemon. It'll probably sell for like $25 still. I just need to find out if there's a size dot or I need to measure it. I was trying to figure out what this said, but I think it's just, it says yoga, so, I don't know. It's just a bunch of letters and numbers all over it. A little confusing, but what you gonna do? Okay, the next thing is Texture and Thread by Madewell. It's this, is it wrap? Kind of wrap top. That was cute. Size large. All these things I could see being bundled by someone and it would be really cute. Um, it's all like my style stuff. So it's kind of risky. I said it's kind of risky. But then, I might keep this just because it's a little warm. It's We The Free by Free People. You can see me through it. Um... <laughs> It's just this top. It has like runs from like it being pulled by the something, I don't know. And it's like a little pilled, but I think that's just how the shirt is supposed to be. I own the same exact one, but in green, and I think it's the same size, maybe. I think I might have it in extra small, but I might be keeping this. So, if you want it. Oh, if you want any of this stuff, you can DM me on Instagram and I can give you free shipping and a better deal than I would on Poshmark or Mercari just because there will be like no fees and you can get free shipping so moving on to the first thrift store that I went to in Raleigh I forgot I picked this up okay it's Torrid it's a size 3x just this lace tank top yeah this next thing oh I remember picking this up it's 
silence and noise, I think. Is it silence and noise? No. Out from Under by Anthropology. Probably won't focus. But yeah, it's Out from Under by Anthropology, size extra small. This like lace um, long sleeve top. Thought it'd be really cute with like a bralette underneath. And I could see someone wearing this because it's really trendy right now. Yeah. I'm just now really realizing I picked up a lot of things that are black. Whoops. But they're all great brands. I really like this. And I paid like $4 for this. It's J. Crew Mercantile. I don't know if this is a higher end. It's size 12 tall. It's this really cute pink maxi dress. Yeah, it's cute. It would look really cute on someone like in the spring or summer, so that kind of sucks that we're going to fall. And I hate the cold weather, but that means jackets and coats. Stuff sells all year round though, so so let's try like now. The next thing to s or not to sell, uh, the next thing I bought was this Bowden. Bowden, size four. 4R? 4. It's this collared white, like, kind of lace top. Not really laced. But it has, like, a more mature brand. Like, more mature styles. The wrap dresses do better, and I've only sold Bowdoin once. Next thing, also Bowdoin. It's a, just a mustard yellow-orange dress size 10. The first time I picked up Bowdoin, it was a green wrap dress, and it sold in like a few days on Macari for $34. Oh no, my pile is falling over because it isn't neat. Okay, this next thing is ba -da -da -da, Young Fabulous and Broke. It has a dry clean tag on it. Not my favorite style I've ever seen from Young Fabulous and Broke. It's this like poncho, I think it's off the shoulder, with this tie-dye like really long maxi dress. Yeah, not my favorite style, but I've never found that brand before. Only at like TJ Maxx and stuff. This is Disney, a collection by Lauren Conrad. I don't normally pick up Lauren Conrad, but it's Disney and people love their Disney stuff. And I could see someone wearing this to Disney and it being a really cute picture. Um, it's just this Minnie Mouse, yeah, Minnie Mouse print white dress. It does have a tie back too, and it's a size 16. So it's a good size. I like carrying large sizes, and I could see someone wearing this and it being a really cute outfit. The next thing is new label Cabby. Cabby. And it's a size extra small. It has these kind of like, it's a sleeveless blouse, but it has these like sleeve thingies. Yeah. Okay. That's a really big size extra small, and it could probably fit a large. This next thing is free people. At first, I thought it was poof because poof sucks, and their tag looks exactly like the free people tag. It's just a lace dress. It has this like metallic lace at the bottom. I thought this was funky. <laughs> it's a size medium. This is probably an older style free pool, but I feel like it will still sell. Okay, this next thing is Dolan. It's just a sweater dress. You can probably sell it for 30. Sweater dresses are cute in the winter or fall. It's this. I don't think it's like a brand. It's jeans. I've never heard of that brand before. I picked it up based on style because I thought it was cute and someone would want it. It's this jean like dress with this pocket in the front. Um, size large. I thought it was cute. Picked it up. I'm probably going to list it for like 30. This is Deletta. Sold at Anthropology. It's this lace pink 
dress with a side zip. Yeah. Oh, it's a size. Sorry if you hear people. This is not an extra small, but it is. Okay, I'm starting to pile up. This is We The Free by Free People. Hey, size small. It's this tank top. Cute. It's like tie dye. Um, I couldn't tell if this was a stain or if it was part of the dye. Hold up. Here it is. Yeah, it's not really that noticeable, so I'll probably mark it just in case. But this is really, really oversized. Free people is crazy with their sizing. Like extra small is like an extra large. It's weird, but you know, people like oversized stuff, so I guess that's why they do that. But they're crazy. This next thing is Joey. Wait, what is it? Joie. It's either Joey, I think it's Joie. Um, it's these metallic heels. I picked these up knowing they did have wear to the actual heel itself. Yeah, they're size 39. And it's made of real wool or real leather on the bottom. That's why it says Veracura. I can't pronounce that. Um, but the leather is super soft on the bottom. And I thought it was cute. I probably would have sent them to thread up if they didn't have some wear on the heels. But I'm still going to pick them up because they were less than $5. They have wear there. But that's just wear from it being worn. And they look super comfortable. The next thing is another red mini mouse dress. It's the same size by Lauren Conrad and Disney. And I thought this was super cute. Someone will want this. Hopefully. That's what I hope for everything. Yeah. You just have to wait out for the right buyer on most stuff. And then you'll get a sale out of it. This next thing. This next thing is a, a Cote by Urban Outfitters. Yeah, this is probably older style. Maybe shouldn't have picked it up. It's this dress, but I feel like someone will probably still want it. Not personally my style, but I thought it looks cute. This next thing, is this the last thing? It is the last thing. This next thing is Zara Woman. They're these like, I don't know if they're real suede, but they're these kitten heel little heels, you know? They're a size 40 and they're super cute. I'll probably get 20 for these, but they're a cute thing to add to my closet. And that's all that I got from this, or from this thrift store haul. And I'm really excited to get this all listed. I needed to film this video Oh, and I also got an H&M dress by Anna Glover. Um, I don't only pick up H&M, but it was, like, their collabs can do good. Anyways, I'm really excited to get all this stuff listed, and I have a humongous pile. Probably got around 50 or more items, and I'm going to get these all listed. If you see something you like, please DM me on Instagram, and I'll give you a great deal. Um... Please give this a thumbs up and subscribe, hit the little notification bell to be notified of when I upload new YouTube videos. I'll leave my Instagram, Poshmark, you know, I'll link down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys! Ever since the day that you